One in seven American women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime, a staggering statistic. But for many women, hope isn't far away. Neither are the resources for prevention. Breast cancer runs in my family, and it's such a horrible disease that people have to go through. That's why Gilbert employee Terry McKinley took the initiative to bring mammograms to her co-workers, inviting the mobile on-site mammography unit to the area. They come to our work and they park in the parking lot and it takes 15 minutes. It's very, very convenient. The mom truck serves across Arizona, giving no excuse not to get early detection. I think it's great that a truck can come to your work and you can just take your break and go and get it done and they send the results straight to your doctor. So you, you don't even have to deal with that part of it. And that knowledge can save lives. If you can catch it early enough, the rates of being able to fight it are so much easier. And you know, it's important to do the self exams, but it's also important once a year to get the mammogram done. It's just one of many breast cancer resources available to the town of Gilbert. Just a few miles away from Town Hall, the Banner MD Anderson Cancer Center is expanding their services, which includes state of the art treatment centers and a unique boutique to help bring normalcy back into the lives of patients. We've got beautiful suits and these all have pockets in them. The prosthetics fit inside there. Boutique of Hope provides professionally fitted undergarments to breast cancer survivors. That's our main focus is on the mastectomy products for ladies who've had uh, breast removal. How are you? The nonprofit store is run by volunteers and sells products for all types of cancer. All proceeds go to the hospital. The hats, for alopecia, uh, for ladies that are going through chemo. Randy Garello fits patients with wigs or specialty undergarments and says the difference it makes is more than skin deep. You want to look beautiful again. You want to uh, feel like a woman. Uh, you want to be able to wear your clothes properly. It's not only for aesthetics, it's, it's for your well-being. And as good as it feels for patients to feel whole again, Garello says it's her reward to be part of their inspiring journey. They're just like, look at me, you know, how I feel great again. So it's, it's amazing, amazing. But oftentimes, survivors themselves find their own ways to give back. Gilbert resident Sarah Ellery has it in the bag. She started her charity project, My Hope Bag, after she battled breast cancer in 2009. And I felt very much that that was my sign that I should go ahead and pay forward. I just felt kind of like there just needs to be some kind of hope. Taking from her own experiences, she filled bags with things she wanted during her treatment. One of the most compelling, a book of real stories from other survivors, complete with their contact information for patients who have questions or just want to talk. I just really wish that there was someone there that could have told me what was going to happen next. Truly a labor of love, Ellery and others have formed a support network for those fighting the disease. I have several women that I can call on that will take a bag to this person and be their, their buddy or their hope angel. Thank you. You're welcome. One of those women is Michelle Tucker, a three-time breast cancer survivor. She was first diagnosed when she was just 19 after her grandmother had died of the disease. The third diagnosis in 2010, she says, was the hardest. Honestly, I was shocked. Okay, you guys see people go outside and they scream to like the sky, like why is that happening? I literally did that. With two children, she had to break the news. My daughters were like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen to mommy? Um, my husband had already passed away with cancer a couple years before. She received a hope back that carried her through doctor's appointments and chemotherapy in her long fight with cancer. The Hope Bag is absolutely a wonderful tool for anybody going through breast cancer. There's this other person out there who's fighting the battle or has, you know, and they still have find the time and, and the idea and put the two and two together and are able to help other people. It's a huge inspiration. And now Tucker is an inspiration to others, a survivor who won't quit. I personally did have those moments where you're like, oh my gosh, what is happening to me? But my hair's back and I'm still here. I don't think it's ever going to go away. To be honest, you're always going to be a little bit nervous, but you can't leave your life scared. Instead, she says, live your life prepared. It doesn't matter who we are, 
If you love yourself, go get checked because nobody else is going to do it for you. Thank you.